we go. Just all set up. a different when I set up like this I have to use my um, tablet as you can see and restream just does not like this um, this browser the uh, Amazon browser seem like it's in full screen does it yes go to full screen what a piece of junk is this that oh let me make sure I'm in triple screen let's see Good to go. As far as this just being a piece of crap. It doesn't even have the resolution I need. It's got 4K, but not. I don't even. Now it's gonna do it. Alright. Oh, Alright. Hey, what's happening, man? Everything feels a little off. I don't know if this is working because it bothers them that you can't see my face. Oh, jeez, oh, Pete. Yeah, it just breaks every time. It's so annoying. You can't see it, but I need to download a different browser apparently. Because it just is not working my tablet at all. Um, how do I even? I have to just keep my phone up and running the whole time too. Apparently. Let's see. Oh, we sit it right there. I guess it's as good as it's going to be. I have to say, I haven't put too much thought into this. Basically, if you don't tune your cars, 
you get wrapped. And if you tune your cars, at least this difficult is the most challenging. Let's reload this. Alright, let me, I need to load Mixer up. Let's see. Uh -uh. wonder if you can half like, snap on these fire tablets like you can on Windows. Should be good. Assuming people can even hear me. With all the crap that I've changed on, I'd be surprised if my audio is actually working correctly. thing I have really keep around with yet. Since I've gotten so lazy about like I've just been using automatics lately. If I'm gonna be lazy like that I better I will be lazy about the gearing then I should be at least get the memory Shows. But I have no idea. I don't even know where to start. And from what I can gather, you start changing other settings, and uh, it messes with your gearing ratios also, so it's just a big can of worms that you open up. I can barely wrap my head around tuning as it is, let alone during the Hero. 
is bogged down bad right there. Hey, before you take off, can you hear me? Oh, I guess my game's crashing. I'm glad that two months down the road. Okay, cool. Glad two months down the road, they still haven't fixed the crashing issues this game has. They're not supposed to be the same. But we do that to make make the game a little bit quieter. Usually, we'll go like this because I, I want to be a little bit louder than the game. I guess at least it saved the race. I don't know. Did I get a payout though? I don't remember. I should definitely redo that uh, setup for this car, but I just don't feel like it. Like I, I doubt I'll drive it more than these next couple races. So, and you know, what's the point? So, and I realized that. When you do a tune, it's fe on like the fe featured page, and uh, so you'll get a quite a few people will download it initially, but then it kind of falls off, and you won't really get any more people downloading. So, and I figure once I get to the next, <coughs> excuse me, next circuit, whatever car I'll choose, I'll just tune that, throw that up, and. Or upload that to share for with people get whatever tunings I can get I think I think I get the last one I did I got about 15,000 credits so not very much let's do it that way there's no point in doing it over and over and over again let's try this with no, that's not what I want. What am I looking for? It's this. No, I should turn these off too. Let's go. Let's go full on.
Uh oh. Good lord. It's not making my car much faster, that's for sure. I think basically the only real benefit I'll get is coming out of corners in the right gear. I don't even know where the power band is in this car. Yeah, that's probably not a legal corner. Here, grinding them gears. Get out of my way. Oh. That was a fast 10 minutes. They come into the corner so hot. Like, I swear, like, I haven't figured out a way to make my car be able to turn like that, that's for sure. came out of that way faster than him. Mm -hmm. I seem to be going a little bit, getting out of gear by 6,000 RPMs. This, like I said, I just don't know where that, the power band actually is in this car. Might be able to get him here. What's that? Oh boy. Give the corner extra hat. Uh oh. I'm 
better. It's still, they're still super close to me, though. Let's see if it crashes again. Not a whole lot of credits there, but... the difficulty. Alright, so we're gonna put it on. Do you want to turn limit aggression off just to make it the absolute most horrific version of this game we can? They changed these recently, at least in the last couple patches. How about let's stick with the starter mod crate? Let's buy a couple of them. Let's, I'm hoping just. Give me some, like, see, the 30% ones are kind of like 30, 25, 20. Like, eh. I don't know, dog. I hope to have, like, I want to be able to use ones that are about 50% or so. So these are all gonna. So they for sure change these. So it looks like all the greens are all like 35 or lower. Give us a few for now. See, a good pass, not a problem. No, I just turned ABS off. We're not using them. Improved, sure. Oh, we'll just use that one again. Get rid of these junker ones. See, them were the ones. Like, I wonder, before I had thought about it, where I knew that. And, uh, like the, the first mod box you would pretty much always get your money back. Now, with the way they've changed it recently, I don't know if it's that's still the case. Did it say which circuit this was? Boom, 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 boom. What does that mean? Did you hear my car broke free again going into third gear? What does that mean? Am I shifting too late or too soon? going right into third gear. Woo. Ooh, that was a terrible shift. I wonder if... Yeah, I can't tell that way. I'm not good enough to be able to tell that way anyways. Mm -hmm. 
How did I not get a good pass in that whole time? Let's see. I'm at 205, 213, yeah. So look how fast they can come into the corner. He's just flat out faster than I was. I for sure can corner faster than these guys, though. Uh. No. to do something I'm not be able to catch these guys no give me that inside corner get out my way this is rough how much slower my car is than theirs like I can catch them in the corners but this part right here is a disaster there's just nothing I can do. Oh, this shouldn't sound like my wheel came up off the ground. Mm, how far is that guy ahead? Yeah, I don't know about that. I should be able to get this other guy. Nope, I'm not going to get him either. Unless I somehow... Oh, come on! Oh, he shifted! No! My best lap was way faster, I just, I must have started way in the back. I don't even remember where I started. can I do about this tune? Let's see. What track are we at? Mm, Sebring's got a couple of them long straightaways. I don't know though, because the one time I was, like, I haven't even been See, I just don't know. I don't know enough about gearing. It doesn't even have... See, I just don't know. I, I don't know. No, it doesn't matter. I don't even have a gearbox that can change it.
Might as well use that. I always have ABS on. The steering wheel, my brake pedal just, it's too hard to press down to not use ABS. That was a horrible start. Okay. I don't think this transmission is... Like, I think I need to shift a little slower. This is where it's going to be problematic. I should be able to catch them there, like that should be a spot. What are you guys slowing down for? Oh no. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Why did he slow down so much right there? I don't understand. Uh, this, right here, this is gonna be my biggest threat. If I don't do well in this race, it's going to be because of this right here. My car is just so slow compared to the other cars. Look at this. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Oh, crap. That's the actual corner. <laughs> Turn! I thought this... Cr so I'm not familiar with this at all. I thought that this had like a little short corner in, and then after that little corner it went into the big corner. It's obviously not the case. This car, the way I've got it set up, it, and yes it's a front wheel drive car, I get that, but uh, it understeers so badly. This was the first, I think this was the first tune I did. So I could, I imagine now I could make it a little bit better, but I'm still, I mean, maybe, I don't know. A lot of the things that I tune, I still, like, you don't know the true consequence of what you're tuning.
look at I'm just I was broke free almost that whole time. But this has been a rough race. Is, you think it's because I have too much weight on my front end? I trail break a lot. And, uh, uh, I wonder if it's... If I'm understeering so much because... Can you put too much weight on the front wheels? That, like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like, I would still turn in sharper. Isn't that how that would work? What I think I'd have to do, would I have to maybe soften the suspension in the front? That causes, that would cause it more turn in response, wouldn't it? I think that's how it works. Oh, talk about a terrible corner. Boy, that was just a rough track right there. Well, what are you going to do, right? I figure if I can win consistently against the hardest difficulty, then I'll probably would probably fare fairly well online. I dropped down to third on that last race. That sucks. These Porsche, I'm interested in, because that new one, the 911 GT2 or what, whatever it's called, was impossible to handle for me before. And now that I'm kind of dabbling in the tuning, I'm wondering if I can tune it to where it's actually fun to drive. see kind of now we're at tuning though now we got to tune something let's see to get to 22,000 I'm I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to do that so I need 10,000 more like say this hot hatch I got 1800 so we got two four six eight and 12, we've only got 12,000 available. That pretty much means I'm going to have to redo some of these. Unless, I mean, I guess I could put it on the easiest difficulty setting, but that's so boring. And some of these I just don't even want to do. Like, I want nothing to do with this, whatever they are. I don't really want to do NASCAR either. This doesn't look like fun. This is probably alright. Open ones are my favorite ones because you can pick whatever car you want. 
This is probably not too bad. Let's try this Get one right now. behind the wheel of luxury sports cars from the turn of the century. And typically, these were usually in the hands of doctors, who merely drove them to the golf course. Here, you are going to give these cars the workout they deserve. Let's see. I've never tuned an all-wheel drive car. Oh. Basically the same car, right? And the handling on this one's a little worse. Let's try. Let's we'll buy this one. We'll try this. boring but I just don't like designs very much I don't know I think it's it kind of takes you out of it like like the fantasy where you kind of envision yourself being able to drive the car I don't ever envision myself driving an M5 with decals all over it really you're going to crash again good lord it's twice now that the game has crashed in the uh, last 35, 40 minutes or so. Give us a minute, we're updating Forza 7. Updating, huh? Alright, wonder what that did. Maybe it will make it stop uh, crashing over and over. Z turn 10, this is not, like, I'm into racing games. Look at what I have set up. Like, I'm into them. And this is a bad representation of what us gamers should expect. this car so basically the so I'll, I'm gonna walk through it though as well as I understand it the first thing you want to do is be able to so I, th I believe they've got to be race springs to be able to uh, make the springs either more firm or more soft. Let's see. Definitely want the sway bars. 
I don't actually know what the difference is. So it looks like the only difference is they're a little lighter. We'll go with them though, and then just keep in mind that uh, I can gain one point if I want to, uh, if I'm like one over 525. These differentials never add any points to the PI, to the class. So, you always want to upgrade to the race differentials. Differentials is what allows the wheels to spin either at the same speed or, like, different speeds. I'm all like, duh! It's basically, because tires spin, want to spin at different speeds when you're going around the corner because the inside one is a tighter line. That just... So you can't even... A lot of these cars, you can't even upgrade certain things because they just added 30 points to the class. Like, I'd never be able to keep it in B class. I hate that. Like, I understand that a wing is how, like, you have to be able to get the downforce there, but they look so stupid. Like, I hate the way wings look on cars. How much weight was that now? Alright, so I think that's everything. Let's try to tune it, make sure we can change. So we got the tires, obviously. Right, we can change that, change our roll bars, change our springs. We can't change brakes, but right, we should be good. Let's see if we can get the engine upgrades. In. No, we're still at 520. We're still above crap. We're going to have to lose some engine here. See, we're at 525, though. See, I'll, I wonder... Let's see if we can find something. But remember how I was talking about that the roll bar earlier where we had the one point to play with? That is coming into play right now. everything here is stock so you obviously can't downgrade any further so that's we're gonna end up having now hopefully it actually uh, drops us down one see nope hmm I don't ugh, that sucks Let's see, let's try sport roll bars. Um, okay, so there we go. Now, as long as it still allows, but now we can't adjust them. Dang it, that's so lame. How much weight that adds, man alive. Alright, so we know we can do it there anyways. So we do have options.
I think this car already has crappy handling. Just gonna have to add weight to it. That sucks. Alright, well, let's just we'll see if we can maybe Usually the lower PI additions are down here. Alright. Alright. So we got that done. Now we're going to take it out to the track. And we get to test drive for a whole long time. I'm gonna tune in automatic because I don't want to have to think about shifting while doing this. Oh, crap! This is not what I meant to do. We're just going to take it around. Let's uh, go ahead and just change the tires right away, though. You try to be between 32 and 33 PSI once they're uh, completely inflated. So as you can see, today... Yep. Oh, they're cold right now. It's designated by the blue. So what we do is we just kind of, we can just drive around for a little bit, wait for your tires to warm up. That's the problem with these short races. Like, you don't start with warm tires, which I actually think you should. I mean, I get that it's not real, but the races are so short, you spend a quarter of the race with cold tires. Because a lot of the races are only two laps. Unless you, uh manually, like change the race distance to long. Okay, so our tires are up to temperature now. Let's see. We're only hanging out at like 29, just under 30 PSI. So let's, uh, we'll just wait, a, we'll finish this lap and we'll, uh, see where we're at. Let's see how they're coming up. There's, so the tires aren't even up to... I mean, they weren't cold anymore, but if you... The temperatures weren't... Like, they weren't up to temperature yet. They just weren't cold. Alright. So we're going to do now... Oh. gonna do camber next let's see where is this at so camber is like how your tires are they're either like straight up or negative or positive camber and uh, basically when you go around a, a corner your tires lean out and so you want them to be flat while you're going around the corner it gives you more uh, your tread like more tread more grip easier to go around the corner and how you can tell is by the tire temperature so on see the camera on this car at least the front looks pretty good you want the temperatures to be uniform as you're coming out of the corner 
So yeah, right now it looks like my inner, my tires might need a little bit of negative camber. It doesn't help that I keep taking these corners too fast. Once your tires break loose, I mean, you can't even test anything. How long is this straight? Alright, let's try to take this corner properly. So the camper is actually pretty good in this car right now. We're not even going to mess with that. Alright. Now, I like to have a car that rides super low. Just because it gives you a little bit more. That's the lower center of gravity a little bit better. It used to go all the way down, but if you test on a course that's pretty flat, and then you go to, say, Nürburgring, where it's all like... <laughs> then your car is going to be bottoming out. So I've started... Uh, why isn't it... Seven, five, seven, five, why, it just looks off. So I've started just tuning like this, just so it's still usable on other... Since this is a front-wheel drive car, actually, well, it's front-engined, all-wheel drive, so it's probably got a little bit, I don't know, because I didn't check, but the uh, weight distribution is probably skewed towards the front because of the engine. So uh, your front springs are going to be a little stiffer than your rear springs, just because it's not the same amount of force that's pressing down the car, it's like this because the the engine is heavier, so the car is like this. So the front springs need to resist that bounce a little bit more because of the extra weight. And it's already skewed. So yeah, like you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but they are skewed a little bit. And I don't know, but I'm gonna guess Forza probably does their default tunings based on the weight distribution. So this is probably like 52% front weight distributed. It's just a guess. I don't know. But I'll end up checking here in a little bit. We'll leave the suspension like this for now, though. So what we want to do now is we want to watch our springs. So you never want it to get 100% because you're bottoming out and that means your car's like Bow. I was actually feeling pretty good right out of the gate. Got a little bit of understeer going on. See, and this is where it starts to get a little... really for me testing I think so since I feel like the cars for the way that I drive it feels like it's understeering a little bit I believe you should like soften the front roll bars I think that's I think that's how you, I should go about doing it
usually a decent way of being able to tell if your tune is working or not is you just go like you take how you do against the AI typically and then tune your car and it, you either do better or worse I do it that way a lot so all right the car actually doesn't feel too bad let's the camber is good let's see and caster angle is fine. So the caster angle, if it's, if I remember correctly, I think if it's too positive, your car will start doing this when you let go of the wheel. I believe it's usually between 5 and 5.5. Five. Mine's at 5 right now, so it's fine. Here's these, let's see what it says. Anti-roll bars provide extra roll stiffness when cornering by tying left and right suspension together. This allows control of the body roll without affecting load transfer under braking and acceleration. Decrease front anti-roll stiffness generally reduces undersear. So okay, that's what I was that's what I said earlier. Like I think you soften like, so I think you soften to get rid of understeer. Soften front sway bar to get rid of understeer. Soften rear sway bars to get rid of oversteer. See, but the thing... See, what I wonder is... I'm not... My turn-in sensitivity seems fine. And I think... Like what this is what it's saying. Front anti roll bar tuning is most effective at turn entry when the front of the car is loaded as it is during braking. So all the weight's forward when you're braking. But I'm not having trouble in entry. I'm more mid corner. Where is I have a sheet somewhere. Where the heck is it? Kind of like a cheat sheet. Let's see, it's over here. All right, so if I'm under steering mid corner, the first so it's like a, it's like a flow chart. Does the front bottom out? No, because we've already set our suspension up to where we don't bottom out. So it says soften front anti roll bar, but it's not. See, that's the thing. This is, it's also under, so it's got corner entry, mid corner, corner exit for both. This is under steer, and this is over steer. Reduce front spring rate. Increase hamber. No, we don't want to do that. We've already done our camber. Reduce front ride height. I don't really like having the cars unbalanced like that, and it just seems like a bad idea when you're uh, in an all-wheel drive car, too. Maybe they just... So, I mean, some cars are just going to understeer. Like, there's just nothing you can do about it. I wonder if this is one of them. And this is where some more testing comes into play. So, I'm getting pretty close to where I'm going to start a race and just see how I do. If I'm getting smashed then I'll know that my tune isn't very good. But if I'm doing all right, then, hey, maybe it's all right. Let's see. Where is our spring rate? Reduce front spring rate. So that would make it softer. So when we... That still seems like it'd be corner entry because it'd make the front... The front's going to dip more. So more weight's going to be up front, which will give us faster turn in. And corner exit, reduce front rebound damping. See, a number, these are another ones I don't really, like, I get that. Like, uh, where's, let's see, front rebound. So the bump is going down, rebound is it coming back it's rebounding 
So, let's see, what does it say? Reduce front rebound. So let's see what this says. So does that mean it wouldn't come back as fast so the weight would stay on the front a little bit longer? You think that's what the implication is? Let's just see how it feels. Alright, let's just take it into a race. We'll take it into a race and we'll see. Usually when I'm doing this, I'm not on Twitch, so it's not as pressing, but I'm trying to rush through it because it's probably pretty boring to watch unless you're really interested in it. The thing is, if you don't, uh, don't tune your cars on this difficulty level, you'll just get slaughtered. I mean, I was getting like, 14th, 15th place. These cars seem so fast on uh, max difficulty. Like, I don't understand how they get their cars so fast. Like, I'm my the power on my car is at 499. Max is 500. I mean, and it's not all about horsepower, but still, like these guys are like pulling away from me. best slide I've ever had. Where's that guy even at? I don't even see him. Races are just never quite long enough. I'm gonna have to start putting it at a long distance. Cause I'm always like I'm faster than them, but I just don't have enough time to catch up to them. We got here. For sure, not gonna have enough time to catch up. What is your problem?
I probably should have tested this. Uh, at default, too, to see what my times are. So it definitely softening that rebound. Definitely, uh, like, even the car out a little more, but... I mean, I'm not doing very well at all. Like, I'm getting slaughtered. But the car, like, my car doesn't... The car doesn't feel bad. I just... I'm just not very fast. Maybe I just wasn't driving the car hard enough. Once I started driving a little harder, I caught right up to this guy. For sure, just wasn't driving hard enough. At least get this guy. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, gotta do what I gotta do. Two thirty-seven. I still was a second off the fastest lap. This will be a night race, so prepare for limited visibility. It is nothing really felt. I, I can't even say. Oh, I sh the cart felt loose. It was under steering or whatever. Like it didn't. It felt fine. Hmm. This just might be one of them ones where uh, Forza decides it's going to be super hard. It's the thing, like, it's hard to tune cars on tracks that you don't really know all that well because you can start getting better lap times, but it's probably just because you're learning the track better, so you're taking better lines, have better braking lines. So, and that's why I tend to do the places I've tuned, I do it at uh, Mount Panorama because. I know that track, and I don't have to concern myself with 
the fact that I might be learning, <clears throat> excuse me, learning the track better as opposed to my tune just allowing me to have faster times. Look how slow my why is my car so slow? I don't understand. Definitely gonna need someone to help me out with uh how to tune gearing. There's an app that uh like helps you tune your gears and whatnot, but uh I'm trying to learn how to do it on my own. Look how much speed that guy had. So far behind. This guy in this BMW is a maniac. Come on. <sighs> yeah. It's... My uh, suspension must be a little soft. Because there's no reason for me to be losing it right there. Or if I could change my brake bias a little bit. Maybe put a little bit more on the back. Here comes crazy BMW guy. It wasn't the fastest car of all time. Okay, let's look at the leaderboard. See, I'm for sure not, that's not in the top 50. No, that's terrible. I wish you could sort it by uh, your car.
Right, so what can we do to make the car faster? What do I have to do to be able to, uh, change these gears? So we need a sport or race transmission. I just, I can't make up. Twenty-one PI. Like I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It's just gonna have to be a different way. See what other tunes for this car look like. Oh. So, at least none of the new B class ones are really any better. They're different, but they're not like across the board better. Where, where am I losing all my time? Let's try to really increase downforce. Since I'm not comfortable with uh, the differential on an all-wheel drive car, I want to do a couple test laps before
You know, here's the problem. Like, I don't know how to do the uh, differentials at all on an all-wheel drive car. See, I just don't really know what it does. I just don't know what it does. Let's... We're going to go with test because we have no idea what we're doing right now. Right, so we're setting both to zero. Just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Steering, that's for sure. So this like you can't even feel a difference. I think this is supposed to be completely locked. Pretty frustrating to be honest. Like, you can't.
Whoa. They have traction control off, right? I just don't know. Is it? Let's see, what is this? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Let's throw this to the rear, just see what happens. See, it went a little bit more like when I'm lifting off this uh, deceleration.
forgot that I wanted to stiffen up the springs. Let's try a race. We'll see. So I've been doing pretty badly. Like, 7th or so. At 50% overall, which is horrible. My, I try to get my tunes top 1%, like that's the goal. Gearing is horrible in this car. Card slides nice, like it slides balanced. See, I don't know if I'm doing better, but I don't know as if it's because I'm the changes I made are helping me, or if it's because this course is kind of wonky and the AI tends to take corners real slow. Like that, like he just lost it for no reason. Downshift, oh my god.
Well, that was a, for sure the best race I've had since, or in this car. We'll see what my time is like, though. That's much more indicative of whether or not your tune is working. Better, but still not good. Someone's got... Let's download this guy's tune. And we'll, we'll race with his. And see how I do. And we can compare how the car handles. So, tuning upgrades. Yeah, dang it. So I just don't like rain very much. Right, we're just going to go straight into it. Let's see. So my best is in the top 30 with this, and which is terrible. I mean, it's horrible. We'll see how we do. I wish I could see what upgrades he purchased. I'd like to, it doesn't seem like, let's see if his car drops down like mine did in, uh, well, I was in a, like, mid-3, three, 3,000 RPMs. Oh, god dang it. He does 
just when I go to leaderboard, does it is it taking into account the fact that this is a race that's uh, during the rain, or is it like say someone's doing free play and they've got it set to dry, no competition? Like, looking for like an apples to apples comparison, obviously. Our feel is fairly similar, to be honest. The only way to really compare is to go um, to free play and do a few laps with uh, my tune and then do a few laps with his tune. Just see, because it's based on how you drive too, so there's, like, there's no one tune fits all. That was terrible. I just can't do anything to catch these guys. I'm actually catching them other guys too. It's just the guy that's in front of me is going faster also.
Yeah, see, I didn't do any better with that. There's six seconds ahead of me somehow. It's not even like what these are not even tuned. How is that thing? Oh well. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna go learn how to tune a little bit better. Then, uh, be back. Mm. All right. Are you just crashing? <laughs> Get a final crash in there. Uh, all right. I'll catch you guys later. See ya.